Everyone, I just finished week 16 here at Lambda School. We covered an introduction to Python and object-oriented programming. My initial impression of Python is that it looks like a language that's syntactically easy to learn, but it can also go very deep. And then there's different versions of it as well. There's Python 2, which is the older version, and then Python 3 is the kind of newer version. So you can equate that more to like vanilla JavaScript and then JavaScript uh, ES6. So in, in that regard, that's kind of how they're similar. You have a lot of the same things from JavaScript. So arrays and objects are called lists and dictionaries in Python. And then you have a lot of the same loops. You have a while loop, you have a for in loop. And there's also some other things in there that you'll pick up um, like classes and subclasses as well. And for our lecture, we had a new instructor. His name is Sean. The lecture itself, we um, were free to ask uh, questions. It was more of a free discussion rather than a usual instructional lecture that we would get with other units. And this may not be uh, a good thing uh, or a bad thing, depending on who you are. And for me, I've always took the liberty for myself to, to teach myself a certain language or a certain skill. So I never leave it up to anybody else because I know how I learn the best. So I present it to myself in a way that's more digestible. And there's a lot of resource to learn Python because it is an older language than JavaScript. And I'll try to post some of the resources that I've used uh, this past week in the description below. And I've also picked up a VS Code extension called a REPL for Python. A-R-E-P-L for Python. And what this does is it's a hot reloading tool to show you the output of your code. The only problem is that it doesn't work with uh, an input uh, when you have a user input of some sort like asking a user for their name. But I'll include it in below as well as if you want to look at it. So other things uh, for the homework, uh, the first day we had about 12 or 14 files where we had to apply Python syntax from what we learned from documents, from videos, etc. And you have to run the files to make sure that they output the correct thing. And then from days two to four, we made a text-based uh, RPG game where you were a character moving through different areas of the map. And then on certain map, there's items that you can pick up. There was a light check feature where if the room is dark, you can't see items, you can't search the room or search the area, etc. So you had to grab a lantern or a lamp and carry that around. And then there's also classes. So there's an item class, there's a room class, there's a player class. And then in each of those, you can also have a subclass and different methods that you can use, different attributes that you can call on. So it was a very fun experience, a good way to learn Python in general. And I think it was just at the beginning of the week, I was kind of just overwhelmed because uh, Python uh, looks pretty simple but the tooling itself and then just not having covered JavaScript in a long time uh, it took some growing pains um, to get used to it and I don't know <laughs> I still remember JavaScript but you know after going through React, Redux, uh, Node and Express and testing authentication you kind of you know lose some of that but it was quickly coming back to me so that was no problem and then my plans for this weekend is to cover more videos uh, about Python and then uh, you know reading docs so I can gain a better mastery of the language itself and then also working on my side project basically building out my portfolio and we also do not have class on Monday since it's a holiday so it's gonna be a long weekend yeah <laughs> awesome and that's pretty much what happened this week and my plans for this weekend um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I can tell you guys, but I think the best thing is probably just to uh, install your terminal like they recommend before Monday lecture 
and then hop on Cocademy if you've never programmed before. Um, there's an introduction to Python course that you can try out. Um, you can always look up articles and resources because there's a ton of them out there. And yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. And uh, remember to check out the resources in the description below. Thanks. Have a great weekend.